Hey guys, I'm here with a review for you. And this is um, kind of exciting and a little bit nerve wracking. Um, but this is on the Lamav Organic Skin Science Anti-Aging Minerals. This is a mineral foundation. And this one is in the color medium. Um, I haven't used a mineral foundation in probably 10 years or more. And um, I was very excited to go ahead and try it out. I've been wanting to try a mineral foundation for a few months now, but I just haven't known where to go. So this opportunity came around for me to do a review on this. And I went ahead and said, okay, yes, let's do it. So I did want to go ahead and show you a demo of how it goes on and how my skin looks before. Um, so I have never been on camera without foundation on my face. It's just um, I'm something is something I'm very self-conscious about my hyperpigmentation and um, yeah it's a bit terrifying so um, let me go ahead and show you the demo. All right, so I have always talked about my sunspots and everything, and um, so now you can see how prominent they are. I have them here, I have it here. I got some breakouts here and here, so I'm gonna go ahead and just prime up my face. I'm going to just use this Miracle Skin Transformer. This one is in, um, I think it's medium or something. Yeah, it's in the color medium. So this is supposed to be like a really kind of miracle kind of a thing. but And it's supposed to fill in your pores. It has um, SPF in it. It says um, three in one. Let me just read it while I do this. Um, tinted Skin Enhancer with SPF 20. All right, so, and I'm going to use, I've been using this, this is the L'Oreal Revitalist Skin Blur, uh, Miracle Blur, using this under my eye. I got this in a swap with um, Marina, so it just has like that cooling metal thing here. So I just put it under here, and it helps hydrate, you know, I'm not a, a spring chicken, so... So yeah, my skin is so bad. It's always been like this. Um, birth control caused it many years ago, and it just has yet to go away. So I'm going to be talking about this here. Okay, for the sake of this video, I'm going to use con some concealer um, on one side. I mean, you can see my, I don't know why my face is like equal on both sides, but I'm going to use some concealer on one side because... Um, I don't know, it's just better to use it before for a powder foundation. I'm just going to put it on the darkest spot right there. Okay, so that way you can see. Um, so I'll have one side. Let me move this up just a tad bit. <coughs> um, I'm going to go ahead and conceal under my eyes. Um, again, since it's a powder foundation, a mineral foundation, this is just the Revlon what is this color stay in light medium and I'm going to be using also the Maybelline fit me and 25 medium so I'm not gonna put too too much just a just a little tiny bit I don't like to put it too too heavy under my eyes because um, tend to crease a lot under my eyes so and I notice that if I just put a very light amount under here it's not so bad all right now we're gonna get on to the mineral foundation I'm just gonna take it it's open here I'm just gonna tap it into the lid so so it's just like that so I'm just gonna take a little brush and just swirl it all together and just start applying it. I want to start down here to give it a chance for all this stuff to dry. And I would say that this is, um, it's a tad bit dark, but not too, too bad. And I would say that this gives like a medium coverage, maybe. I'm not familiar with um, mineral foundations, to be honest. This is um, one of the first ones I've used in many, 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 many years. So I'm just going to do, I should have did this side with the concealer, but you'll still see both sides. All right, so that's just 
the first set over here. I'm going to go ahead and do the other side now. I'm going to use a different brush. This is a real technique. So it's just a little tad bit fluffier. This is what I was using with it um, earlier. So I have to use like a, a smaller brush. This one's a bit fluffier than the other one. So let's try this one. I just want to tap it on over the concealer so it doesn't move the concealer around. So you can see the side with the concealer covers up a little bit more, obviously. Um, but as I said, this is more like a, a medium coverage um, mineral foundation. Let me do up here. Let's get rid of all this. All right, I want to go in with this little tapered brush here. And I'm just going to try to get some additional coverage right here. On this spot on my face I'm not sure how well it's gonna do because I do know that you can add a little bit more to do like some concealing and spots that you really need a little bit more coverage but to me I think that it starts to get a little too much too cakey just gonna go around to the little spots that the brush was not able to get into very well all right so that is the coverage for this particular foundation as I said I think it's like a medium coverage it's light it doesn't feel like um, it definitely it's not gonna feel sticky or anything like that um, but it just feels like skin it doesn't feel like I have stuff all over my face so I'm not sure if it looks on the camera I can't really tell how you guys can see what it looks like but in the mirror hmm you know I still see all my little problem areas um, but at the same time, it's my skin is a bit more even. So um, it's good for a, a light day that I don't have a lot of things to do. I just want to do something really nice and light. Um, and then I'll just go ahead and finish up my face, spray, you know, spritz a little rose water on just to um, take away the powderiness. And I will be right back. So I do want to read to you a little bit about what this particular mineral foundation provides. And it has SPF 15, which is awesome. Um, it's an anti-aging formula with vitamin C and rose hip oil. It says that it's a long-lasting foundation, quick and easy to apply, non-comogenic, and it won't clog your pores, which that is awesome. Um, for all skin types, there's no talc, powder, uh, light reflective properties that makes the skin look flawless. Um, I do think it looks really nice on the skin um, and it hides imperfections such as acne, scarring, and rosacea. It comes in four shades. It has light, light medium, medium, and dark. And again, this one is in medium, I believe, right? Yes, medium. It's also 100% cruelty free in case you wanted to know that. What do I think about this foundation? Um, well, it's very lightweight. It's easy to apply. You just buff, 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 and keep buffing until you feel like you've got enough coverage and um, actually, after it sits on your face for a little while, I would say like 15, 20 minutes, it just looks even better. Um, it, it just doesn't, it doesn't look as, you know, like a powder foundation would, like a, you would imagine it to be a little bit cakey. It is a little bit cakey initially, but you go ahead and spritz it with, I used rose water, or you can use a setting spray or something like that to kind of calm down the powdery feel. Um, and I think it looks really, really nice. It has a nice little glow to it. Um, I think it covered pretty nicely. It has like, a, I would say a medium coverage. I think it's um, a really nice um, foundation to use for the summer. I think it was a really nice lightweight. It doesn't feel heavy on the skin. I don't feel like, like if I'm moving my face, I don't feel like it's on my skin. I don't feel like any, I have anything on there. So for that, I really like that. So that's it. Thank you guys so very much for watching and I will see you again in another video. Bye.